This is from Battaglia, it's called the Bounce Back, Battaglia's Bounce Back Drill. So what he's going to do, he's going to penetrate with the jab and he's going to step that foot back. So both of his feet are going to come in and then he's going to step back and he's already loaded on his rear foot. So when you go here, you're already, look at my rear leg. So you go here, hop, hoop, hop, 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 hop. So I'm already loaded. So hop, he's already loaded. Hop, hop. So, the jab is the probe. You might do it once, you might do it twice. You might even do it three times, but then as soon as they come in on you, you fire on the half beat. So the first one is just the bounce back cross. So he's got to slowly hop, get out of that and bang. So when this swiping hook comes at him, he's right out of range. He just goes, because he's already here. It passes, and then he fires right after. So slow motion, boom, whoop, pow! Oh, get back in. Whoop! Oh. He's putting it right on my face. Oh, oh. pow! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's the first one. Okay, the second one. Is he gonna bounce back, left hook? So he's gonna, hold on, jab. He's gonna bounce back and left hook. That could also be here. Oof. The biggest thing is you're here. Okay, so it's a foul. Okay, now he misses. Oof. That's out of range. And then there's a swatting left hook. Jab, bounce back, hook. Oof. Gotta wait. Okay, next one. Right uppercut. So you're probing with the jab, you're getting out and just waiting. And depending upon if your body's sideways or twists a little bit, that's going to determine what punch you're going to throw. He's also, he's also with his hands up, he's set, he's blocking, so slowly, he gets back, look at the uppercut. So we'll do all three. Boom, miss, cross. Boom, miss, hook. Boom, miss, uppercut. So now we compound it and put a two bead on the end, which is a one and a half bead. So that would be a cross hook, a hook cross, and an uppercut hook. So number one, he jabs, bounce back, cross up, back, back. and he's putting that and stepping in deep. Whoop, ha, ha. Number two, hook cross. Whoop, 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 hey. That's it. Number three, uppercut hook. Whoop, whoop. So let's do all three. Three. The biggest thing is that probe. You're going hop, hop, and you're ready ho, ho, to fire here, to fire here, to fire here. Three beats or two beats to follow. Anytime we're in the 50 50, if he backs out, here's what's going to happen. So just remember, there's no clean breaks in MMA. If he just backs straight out, backs out, look at it, up, up. Okay, one more time. When he backs out, just back out. Go low, high. Okay, so we gotta prevent that. So how do we prevent that? 50-50, okay, what is he gonna do? He's gonna shove my elbow to my hip and he's gonna just step out. That's it. Now, what I like, cause he's got a free hand, he hits a 3-2, which is like a left, a left uh, Stockton slap, followed by a right cross. So slow motion, he's gonna shove my elbow, he's gonna step out, right here, and there's a left, and it goes pop -pop. So 50-50, shoves, let's get out, break out, break out, 50-50, break out, 50-50, let's break out, pop -pop. That's how you break out of a 50-50, in case somebody follows you, when you have 
a clean break. Remember, there's no clean breaks. We stuff the elbow, and that will also give him, he stuffs my elbow, that will also allow him to put his head on my, and hit a double leg. Oh. Okay. Works good off the cage, too. Number one knockout punch in MMA when I was fighting was the right overhand. The overhand was notoriously the number one used punch to knock most people out followed by the left hook later on, so the right overhand. So here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna fire a one, two, that right down the middle. Pop, pop. Now he's gonna step back, just enough. Now he's gonna drop his level, and then he's gonna drop his hand, and he's gonna hit a right overhand. Oh! So you can see the one, two, pop, 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 and now he drops, whoop, and so his one, two on the second sequence his one is the drop. So if he fired, just fire a right hand, come back, drop, oop, they drop, and that's your overhand. Boom! So this is a great combo. I actually dropped Kawaguchi with this one because the one, two, they think you're gonna come back with a one, two, and then you just take a little pause, and that's the overhand. So one, two, drop, and boom! Oh. Give me a two, hop, go back, and drop. Ow! One, two, drop, ow! One, two, and ow! Two, ow! Two, and ow! Now if he steps off, he's got a left overhand follow, following that. So slowly, two, drop, right overhand. Boom, I step back, he's got it. Oh, there's a left overhand. Okay, one, two. Now, when you're smaller, this is one of the best ways for you to zap a taller guy. If I got to zap somebody and get in on him, I throw right overhand, I'm in on the double leg. So he would go right overhand, whoop, he's already in. Bang, go single or double. So one, drop overhand, whoop, look how he's already stepping forward. That's it. One more time, whoop, and he's in. One more time. Go, he's in right to the double. So the right overhand disguises the double leg. Another way I like to disguise the double leg is you go high jab, low cross, high hook, and your body's going up and down, so he goes like this. And then double. Oh, because it's hard for me <laughs> to do this. That's it. Okay, or he just zaps the overhand, head inside single. What? That's it. High, low, high. Double leg. Overhand. Bang. High, low, high. Double leg. Overhand single. Oh! That's it. Snatch single. Whoa! Again. So you grab and you just back up. Bang. Whoa! 